On McKinleyville, residents are getting closer to seeing a safer Central Avenue. News Channel 3's Lachey Wesley joins us live in the studio with the latest developments. Good evening, Lachey. Good evening, Monica. The Central Avenue Safety Project is now in the design phase. The county is getting closer to narrowing down what the road will look like after a public workshop that was held last night. The county is attempting to get as much feedback from residents in hopes of creating a roadway that's safer for drivers, bikers, and pedestrians. A series of traffic lights punctuate McKinleyville's busiest street. It's the main way to get around town, and that's why many residents say it's also one of the most dangerous. We all, all want more safety, fewer accidents. And safety is what an $800,000 grant is earmarked for to make improvements to the heaviest traveled street in town. Central Avenue is our most highly traveled corridor in the county. County officials invited the community to an open workshop so they could collaborate on what they wanted to see in their neighborhood. For people to provide a vision for what they want to see within the community of McKinleyville. And for community members that attended the meeting, they had a variety of ideas for making the roadway safer, like making the street more accessible for non-motorized use. I hope that it's safer and more pleasant for bike riding and walking. Those are important activities in our community. The grant is mainly focused on median treatments that will reduce the amount of collisions as drivers cross traffic. The point of using a median is to try and reduce the number of conflicts and provide motorists with uh, more predictable traffic flow. That could mean building a barrier between each side of the street or as little as enhanced striping. But business owners at last night's meeting said they worried that medians could affect their business and ultimately block customers. Well, that's where people turn into businesses from. So if they're traveling in a direction where that median would prohibit them just turning into that business, then they may cancel that trip. Um, it may cause them to have to go make a U-turn somewhere. County officials said they take in a variety of ideas in the hopes of getting the best idea. After the meeting, we'll compile the ideas, see if there is a consensus within the community as to what they'd like to see us move forward with. And the county is still looking for public input on the plan. All of the ideas will be compiled into one plan that will be brought back to the public in September. KHUM. We've got Emily Sinkhorn. We've got uh, Darren Dinsworth. Uh, yesterday, there was a big meeting in McKinleyville, public safety for Central Avenue, and we're going to find out how that went. I know it's been a little bit uh, cantankerous. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Darren. Good morning. Uh, you guys both facilitated this, this meeting. The County Public Works has been working on the Central Avenue Improvement Project. The community really voiced that they would be interested in looking at their options. Um, and also of you know what other things are community members interested in seeing enhanced along Central Avenue? Darren, you uh, are with a group called uh, Crowd Bright, which helps facilitate these kinds of things. On the floor, we've got a whole bunch of big pieces of paper with lots of sticky notes on them. I guess this is uh, indicative of the uh, the process that took place last night. Our company, Crowd Bright, we really do is crowdsourcing for a brighter future. We try to work with communities and agencies. Look works give people a voice on the future of their community, and then to work quickly to develop action plans on how we're going to get there. Brought together, I think, more than 65 people working in teams at tables, and we worked on giant canvases. So some of them were to brainstorm ideas about the future, and then we moved over to these interactive maps and the public by sort of challenges and opportunities and, and really worked together. So after this process, did you learn anything from it? Was there any consensus built on how to move forward? Because it seems to have been at an impasse. Yeah, there certainly were a lot of common themes that arose out of the five small group tables. The exciting thing about this meeting was it wasn't just feedback on designs that the county already mm -hmm. provided. Mm -hmm. This was really community members using different design strategies to try to improve you know, safety and enhance the character along Central Avenue. 
you know, reducing the turning movement conflicts and increasing pedestrian safety. People were really interested in using treatments like a colorized asphalt crosswalk has been newly implemented in CADA. Another example in Leightonville. There was 172 ideas that came out of the meeting last night. Okay, it was fantastic. As Emily said, improving safety, but also enhancing access and ensuring economic vitality along the corridor, preserving and enhancing the scenic community character. And something new that uh, that came out, people wanted to focus on placemaking and how do we make sort of Central Avenue a, a destination. Cool. So the reason that this whole thing even came to fruition, safety along uh, Central Avenue is an issue. Central Avenue is the most traveled street in the unincorporated mm-hmm. county. So there's about 18,000 average trips per day. That much traffic, a center lane that allows turning movements anywhere, there's a greater chance for, for conflicts. The good news is is that the money had been granted. The, the tough part was what, what to do with it. Fortunately, the conversation and the work is still ongoing. Input opportunities that were at the meeting last night are available at an online site that Darren can speak to. Just go to Crowdbright and it's spelled C R O W D B R I T E dot com. And under featured projects, there's McKinleyville right there, Central Avenue. And there's three different canvases or maps for you to look at and review. You can actually review the same plans that were presented at the meetings. It works very simply. You can add virtual sticky notes, just like people did on the meeting on paper, virtually. And then you can all turn them over and comment on somebody else's idea. And then there's a like button and you can vote up and down other ideas. So you can indicate your preference for what other people are saying as well. Fantastic. I was, I was taking a look at your website about that. It's a, it's a very cool concept and people can like, uh, you know, use their iPads and uh, laptops. So there's a, an iPad app in the App Store you can download. And, and with that, there's a couple hundred different projects you can look at and peruse. All of our projects we do for public agencies are open to the public. They never close. Six months from now, when the alternatives come out, if you wanted to go back and see what happened at the meeting, you mm-hmm. could log in and see all the 172 ideas. Enhancing have the public process for how projects get accomplished. This is just an, another great tool. Erin, you've worked on a lot of other successful rural Main Street enhancement you know, projects. Do you have any examples to share that maybe we could learn from? Yeah, well, am I back planning director for, of a group called the Sierra Business Council? We published a number of books and publications, Planning for Prosperity, Investing for Prosperity, and these were guides that local small communities could take to help plan and create a vision for their future. The online platform is a newer tool that we've developed since 2009 to sort of expand the reach of, of the public and how they can shape their downtowns, make it easier and more convenient for people to, to come out to those meetings and to contribute. It's really wonderful. Uh, Emily, thanks for bringing Darren in. This is uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of fun. Thanks for bringing all the visual aids. I know this is radio. You can't see them, but I'll, I will post pictures of uh, some of these uh, things that he brought in uh, as well, so you can kind of see it. Yeah, and also if um, listeners are interested in being involved in the McKinleyville Central Avenue Project, you can go to um, www.crowdbright.com and continue to be involved. That's very cool that you can continue that uh, discussion. Great uh, aspect of of what you do. So, uh, Darren, thanks for coming in.